Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tenager and we are playing some Mass Effect. Let's talk to the Council. Batch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. I don't want to talk to the Council. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. Yep. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Security precautions? She's nice. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never oh, no, allow they were trying to, to kill her daughter. Capture her. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We That's never probably a better she one. Become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> Disconnect. Uh, it was, or we would have lost Liara. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, See? Commander. The Salarian agrees Remember, with me. We are all counting on you. The Salarian agrees with me. Ugh. Saving data! I hate you, game. With your auto-saving! Okay. Let's go talk to everybody, because we haven't done that yet. Uh, let's go talk to... The point defense systems, because experience. Well, let's go talk to Joker. I like that idea too. Joker! Joker! Joker, Joker, Joker! Joker! This is gonna be party uh, talk central! To silver, you know, for my medal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. <laughs> you sure you want that? <laughs> if we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Ah, uh, that would That's suck. A good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent yep. the last seven weeks working on this baby. No <laughs> medal's worth that. No so, medal's worth the loss of that glorious really beard. Because I want to know more about you, because you're awesome. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? Because she's awesome. She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Well, good thing Lucky you're not average. You, I'm anything but average. <laughs> yeah, seeing as you hijacked the ship... I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? No. Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Um, uh, I didn't mean to insult. Are you contagious? <laughs> I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean, you mean you didn't know? No. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I've got Vrolic syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I'm going to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. I don't know. It seems like it'd be kind of fun. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. Uh, yeah, right. <clears throat> I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Were you unhappy? Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I Because he had to be serious. School, Commander. The world's not going to hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. <laughs> you better damn well have been, Joker. I need to know more about this Rolex syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. You could have put it. It's an extremely rare better, condition. Shepherd. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles. My bones Ooh. were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. 
the way he said that. Predictive member of society. You're not going to break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly just with my hand. feet, Commander. So I'm fine <laughs> as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not Kay. trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Uh, and there is nothing else! I have to go. Bye, Joker! Right, see you. Okay, so now we know about Joker. Let's go find out about somebody else. What's it? Wait, what? What was that? Wait, wait. Experience points! Yay! Let's talk to this guy. Because we never see him. Hi. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. Oh, thank sure you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. Uh, they're on our side. They're We're pretty good. The same team here, Presley. I mean, <clears throat> Garrus. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Listen to me, bitch. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. I'm Humanity not has racist, always handled its own but... Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Never turn away help. Help Some is awesome. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. Exactly. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. This is just going to be full of, I'm not racist. But... How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my okay. grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying That's to wipe bad. it That's bad. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. And now you're here? How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain <laughs> asked for me when he was picking his crew. Aww. Carry on, and they Presley. asked for me too because yes, I'm the protagonist and he knew it. Wait, I got renegade points from that? I never get renegade points. Okay. What if I could keep just asking him the same questions over and over again and farm Paragon of renegade points? Kaden! Caden, we haven't talked to you since friggin' ever. Hi, Caden. How you doing? Hi, honey. Every time Shepard walks up to him, it looks like the beginning of a porno. Commander, do you have a minute? Uh, yes. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. Okay. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the council. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here. But someone isn't reading it. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll get things done. I'd rather operate independently than have the brass on our backs anyway. Exactly! I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. It's because they've been around for too long. They got complacent. Cute way to look at it. Um. Uh, cute way to look at it. Well, well, you're a romantic. That's not what I meant to say. Malenko. Shit. You're a man's future in space. Flip table. I'm not romancing Kate. I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves. Or I am know, not romancing Caden. It's not happening. I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Brain Biotic camp? acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Uh, what did they train you for? Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Brain so, camp? <laughs> We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. I don't there think that's how science works. There of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Ugh. 
Uh, you doubt it's, you doubt it, that was an accident. It was Is there an accident. Some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first gen subjects. Kinetics? Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Uh, what's Jump, Jump Zero? Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? Sure it is. What's it like? I'm a biotic, yeah, I should know this. Thing. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades, right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. Ugh, doesn't sound fun. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. Like me, That's probably? True. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, time to get physical again. Time to talk then. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd get sit to know each other. Night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana, who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart and charming as hell. And you beautiful, know. and you love her. I'm not stuck up about it, like you, I guess. Uh, don't hit on me! Uh, sounds like she was special to you. She was. Don't hit on Maybe me, Caden! the same, but things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm that seems kind of jerkish. intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Yeah, he's got a point there. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I want to know my crew. We have to depend on each other in combat. I like knowing what kind of man I have at my back. Stop hitting I on me. I understand, ma'am. I won't let you down. Good, you don't hit on me. Make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? Don't hit on me. Of course, but I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll Don't hit later. on me! I'll, uh... I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah. I'd like that. Don't hit on me! Please don't tell me I accidentally did a, um, walked into a romance with him. Anything you need, Commander? Uh, tactical appraisal? What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. Uh-huh. She seems nice enough. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Uh... No. What's Not even gonna step into that. Mission. Oh wait, no, I just asked Doctor. this. Doctor. God. Sheesh. I mean, if there you like go. the book this one. sword. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Okay. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. He thinks I like him. This is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna have to break his heart. Oh no. I don't want to break his heart, Mommy. Yara. Oh, Chuckless! I like you. Let's yes, talk. Commander? Is there something you need? First more questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. <laughs> too secure. Let's go I figured the, the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen, did military it? life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. Yep. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Aww. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. 
But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Aww. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What is that? L2? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Surgery. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. So he needs to take pain meds a lot. Good to know. Yeah. Yara, do you feel better, honey buns? Do you feel better? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You desynced. Why does everybody desync in this game? Are you okay? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh... She's the best. You're in good hands. Because she's Dr. awesome. Chakwas knows what she's doing. Like everybody in this game, she's I rather awesome. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. Aww. If you hadn't shown up, I... You don't need to thank me, don't mention I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. Of course they, they don't. They do not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. Awesome. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. Because I've played all these games, but I know Commander. exactly what happens. Thank you. I'd like to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs. Unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Says the person who becomes a shadow broker in the second game. Um, do you like it? You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why well, I find you so fascinating, Commander. Touch? I'm fascinating? Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> yes, it is. I was joking. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. <laughs> now you know You're why just I prefer to, to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. <laughs> why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Maybe she's just evil. That'd be, that's so mean. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We like were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Rumors? Like y'all sleep with everybody, which is not true. But like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Does, can it be like a Turian who has a completely different genetic and cellular makeup from you? I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. 
We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Uh, and yet the par- and that the child will always be a sorry no matter what. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Uh, who was your father? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Ooh. Does like that can happen? I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. That wouldn't make much sense in the long run, but... If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then... Nothing nothing is gained. ...has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible so don't call her that. was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Oh, you don't know that. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. At least something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. I hope my dad is dead. No, for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Like Often the Solarians. Will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. How do they deal with it? Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. And just marry a Krogan. We don't focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Awesome. I should go. Bye there! Goodbye, Shepard. I still got to talk to Ashley and Garrus and Tully. Tolly's downstairs, right? I can't remember. Tolly, where's your face? Boof. Teleport to the middle of the elevator like you do every time. Yep, this episode's gonna be mostly talking to people. And then the next one, we're going to go explode more stuff. Why does it look like my character's face looks very skeletal right now because of the shading? A zombie shepherd! Attack of the zombie shepherd! Oh, we gotta talk to Rex. Hi, Rex. Shepherd. Hi. What can I do for you? How you doing? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Hey! Uh. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. <laughs> oh, come on! The Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Yeah, about that. (sighs) Uh, yeah. Yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. A little bit different. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection no. that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? No. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Not exactly. I suppose it isn't all the same. I they just tried to genocide us. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Touch your subject? I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. Oh good, now he's talking to me! The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Okay, then what's killing us? Are really dying? 
We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots okay. of species have left their homes and prospered. But there's not enough but to they grow. Colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. Get killed. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made, they made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Well, maybe Why they the should. Try to find a cure. Was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? Yep. You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Okay. So long, Rex. Shepard. <laughs> Shepard. Shepard. Ashley. Commander. Hi. What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Uh, I believe I her. She's being straight with us. I very rarely talk to my blood around. family. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be uh, illuminating. Don't be. That's none of my business. That's between you and her. Hmm. Scuttlebutt says otherwise. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. Scuttlebutt? I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impossible. I am not going to sleep with Liara, damn it! Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Okay. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm. I'm concerned about the aliens. Vicarian Racist! Aliens. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Because they're not Alliance? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You are racist! You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, actually, have to <clears throat> learn to rely on ourselves. By mistrusting our allies? How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. That's kind of cynical because, you know, we've got people on our side, and just because the Turian ambassador might not help us doesn't mean Garrus won't. Universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism. So you're going to sick Garrus on a bear? Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. And why do you feel that? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? Deeply held racism. My defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth centrists as our own. It doesn't sound and like being extremely racist while doing it. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. I don't know what any of that means. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. You're lucky. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I lost my family on Mindoir. Are you related to anyone I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. I read about Mindoir. The Alliance screwed the pooch on that one. Should have had a <laughs> yeah, you don't say. Is that why you're out here? To take the fight to the pirates? No. 
The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Exactly. We can yeah. explore and get ruins and get murdered by Titan. Krogan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. Gold Don't breaking? tell me you had Gunny Ellison. <laughs> He's the only one who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Oh Lord. You Their the smiles are so awkward. Too. Yeah. Gunny Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there. Kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. <laughs> Pusillan what what does that even mean? Okay. We have to work with aliens. Alright, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. Good! You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. <laughs> the ass cheek. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Commander. Yeah, the kissing the Turian is my job. Okay, honey? My job. Dismissed. Which reminds me, speaking of that... Ma'am? We're gonna finish talking to all of the people in the next episode. We still have to talk to Tali and Garrus, and then hopefully we won't have to do this anymore. So in the next video, we're going to talk to those two. My name is Miss Brad Teenager, and I'm playing some aspects. I'll see you all in the next video.